Hey everyone, it's Joy here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. This video is for the people that bought the Shark Week card kit for 2023. Originally, this was gonna be a live video, so I want to apologize. That is not a live video. I, we are still in the hospital in the ICU with our daughter, so I did not get to do a live because obviously I can't plan anything like that with not knowing what's going on with her. But I wanna say thank you guys so very much for purchasing that card kit. I was super excited about it. It's just been so crazy over this whole summer. I also regret to say that we are not, I'm not gonna be doing the Shark Week like I normally do this year because we have been in the hospital since May 31st. And uh, so yeah, that just did not happen. But I do have this video of making the card. So we're gonna go ahead and make it in real time. And I hope that you guys will make this along with me. And again, thank you so much for supporting me and buying the Shark Week card kit. And hopefully next year will be a lot better. So we're gonna start off by coloring um, our cute shark. We're gonna be making a shaker card. I know you guys got your supply list in your kit, so it's gonna have everything that we're using here on this card. I do wanna say that like, right now I'm in a hotel voicing this over for this video. So if I can't remember everything that I used, I apologize, but it is on that paper I sent with your card kits. So let's color this super cute shark. I love him. I just think he's so fun in his little floaty. He's having such a good time. So we've got the shark here. We have a little fin, um, but I ended up not using that. This video was actually a, a blessing because I made this when I was practicing this card for the live. And so I just happened to record it. So thankfully that was a good thing. So we're not gonna use that shark fin, but we do have the sunglasses and of course a coconut drink. I thought that would be a lot of fun. So you can see the caps here of my Copic markers that I'm using. I like to use the C colors for the shark. I think it's, it's a really nice gray. It gives, I don't know, it's just like that to me, it's just what a great white shark looks like. So when I'm coloring with my alcohol ink markers, I really do, for the most part, I like to start with my darkest color and just adding a little bit of that in the areas that I wanna have the darkest shadows. Then I bring the medium color in over the dark color, blending out a little further, leaving an open area for the lightest color, and then I blend it with the lightest color. I end up usually doing that two times. Every once in a while, it's three times, but two times for me seems to do the trick for the look that I like. I feel like I get a really good blend. So that's how I like to color all of my images. So his little underbelly here and his cute little fins are that lighter gray color. Then I'm coming in and adding a little bit of a darker color. And then I can blend out a little further. So this underside I did a little bit different by starting with the lightest color. And you can do that. I used to color that way and I'm not sure why I changed, but I like the way I do it now. And I think it's just a personal preference. And so, yeah, so what, however you guys like to color it. I hope you guys have been watching shark videos, uh, Shark Week, I know on Discovery, and I know that Nat Geo had like three or four weeks of shark um, shows, which I've had on in the hospital when I can, so I've kind of been watching it on mute really for the most part, <laughs> but it was nice to, to be, um, to watch Shark Week because I know all of us love it so very much and I appreciate you guys always supporting my Shark Week events and hopefully next year we'll, I will be in a better place and we can do all the things that I had originally planned for this uh, Shark Week event. So here I am going over this area again with the darker and then I'm gonna blend out again with the medium and then the light and you'll see that it blends out really, really nicely. Like it has a way better blend the second time around. So that's why I like to do it like that. I just feel like it just looks creamier, if that makes sense. 
I would love it if you guys can comment below. I know you are making a card with me, but I would love if you comment below if you guys have been watching Shark Week, either on Discovery or Nat Geo. Let me know what you guys have been watching. One of the ones that I watched, and I cannot remember the name of the shark right now, but it look when it takes a it's a little tiny shark and I'm pretty sure again I was watching it usually on mute <laughs> but from what I gathered this shark would come from like it's like a deep water shark but it's little but when it takes a bite out of you and I think it would only happen at night it would be a, like a perfect circle but the way it bit and took the flesh out I know that's gross I'm so sorry would be almost in like a cone shape. It was super, super weird and I can't remember now what it's called, but I, I learned about that shark this year. So let me know if you guys learned anything new about the sharks, if you ended up watching any of that. Okay, look at how cute he looks. I love his little smile and it still looks kind of menacing with all of his sharp teeth. And I wanna give a huge shout out to the graphic designer who created this stamp set I gave her my ideas and she created the first stamp set for me her name is Nicole Dabberkow I think I pronounced her last name right I could be wrong but um she did an amazing job so ignore this fin I am coloring it in the same way but I ended up not using it for the card so please just ignore the fin and then we will get to coloring the rest of it. I do love the sunglasses and I do love, of course, the coconut drink. I think he's going to look really fun, just kind of laid back and and enjoying all his um, fun things. Okay, let's color his little floaty here. I love that it has polka dots. I want to go with these oranges here. I do, I just really like orange. I love these kind of peachy oranges or like apricot oranges that tends to be my favorite color of orange so I want that to be his floaty and I think it just really kind of pops and stands out against like the blue water and stuff like that for this card that we're making so let's again start with the darker color and then I want to bring in that medium color. And like I said, I, what I do is I go over the dark color, fill in some of that white space. So I'm, you know, creating less white space, essentially. I'm coloring carefully around my little polka dots here on his cute floaty. And what I thought was fun about this my marker was running dry on this. Um, what I thought was fun with this stamp set was that this shark is doing beach activities, <laughs> essentially floating in a floaty, building a sandcastle, being buried in the sand. And actually my daughter came up with the idea of the shark sunbathing with a little um, tanning thing. And I can't think of what it's called right now, but that was her idea of, she's like, I think that would be so cute. And she was definitely right. It is so, so cute. So I'm coloring kind of slow here because my marker was running low, but let's add our lightest color in the center. And that's going to give us that highlight spot. And I hope I am coloring slow enough for everyone to stay caught up, but no worries. And again, you could color this with anything you want to color. You do not have to use alcohol ink markers. You could do zig markers, real brush um, markers. You could do colored pencils. You could do watercolors. Obviously you can color it however you want to color it. It is completely up to you. And I do have to fussy cut these and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time to do that here when we're done coloring. And I am so sorry that I am <laughs> off camera for a second. I think I had to go grab um, another marker to color that in that little inside area here. But now that marker is got some more ink in it. So let's go back over. I like to go around the edges again and you can see adding that dark marker, the darkest color is going to start adding more of that dimension because when you blend it out, it kind of 
mutes it in a way because you're getting a good blend. So I definitely like to go back in and create my darker shadow areas. I think having that contrast really makes your images, I don't know, seem more real. It's not so flat. You have some dimension, you've got highlight areas and shadow areas and it looks really, really good. Do you guys have a, your, a favorite image on this stamp set? Let me know in the comments below if you do. I also wanna give a shout out to Cardstock Warehouse for the cardstock. I want to give a shout out to scrapbook.com for donating the acetate. And of course to Marisha Dean from the Diary of Belle Rose. She made the sequence that you guys have in this card kit. She did a beautiful job. And so I wanna just thank everyone who helped um, donate to this card kit. Okay, let's finish up with some more highlighting. And I color kind of slow, you guys, so I hope you don't mind. The other images will go pretty, pretty quick. But look at how good that looks with those darker areas and the lighter areas. Of course, you know I had to bring in some teal because I love it. Let me just color that little spot on that shark. I realized part of his body was not colored. And let's make some teal polka dots. I love teal and orange. I love teal and red. I think they're really fantastic colors together. So of course I had to do that. And that is my favorite color. And I believe we're making his sunglasses teal as well. So I'm just using two colors, a darker and a lighter, just to have a little bit of, I just can't leave it flat, but the really small circles you definitely don't need to add a shadow to I mean you don't need to to the bigger circles either but I'm just out of control and that's just how I how I do things but isn't that fun that teal popped against that orange I think is so so fun and see how I have to make it darker I'm just I'm just kind of crazy that way but I feel like it looks really good oh, I am doing it to the little circles too yeah I'm a little out of control Okay, let's color the sunglasses, those same teal colors. Trying to keep it simple. I don't wanna to have too many different colors going on. I wanna make sure that it's not, you know, overwhelming. Now also, I do wanna say that I'm kind of jumping ahead. One of the um, extra products that I listed that did not come in the card kit were like wave dies. So if you're already done coloring or whatever and you could want to cut the Mars green cardstock with a wave die or two, go ahead and do that. If you don't have a wave die, you can literally just tear your paper to create a wave. That works just as nicely too. It's you know completely however you wanna do that. But so if you're already done coloring, um, I would say maybe go ahead and, and die cut that. I think I did not show myself die cutting that on here. There was a couple things I didn't show and I want to apologize because again, this was just a quick recording. It was actually for myself so I could remember because um, I made this forever ago, months ago, months ago, and I wanted to be able to remember what I did. And it just so happened to come in handy because, you know, I'm not able to do the live with you guys. So I'm so sorry it's not, it doesn't have everything that I wanna show. Like it doesn't show me foiling the sentiment and I want to apologize for that just ahead of time, but it has been a little crazy. So we're coloring the coconut of course with some brown Copic markers. And I love a coconut drink, even though I've never had one. Can you guys comment below if you have had a coconut drink and let me know because I have not had one. Let's color in the little umbrella and then the little flower on there because he is chilling and he is gonna have this little drink. And here shortly, I'm going to turn on some music and give you guys about three minutes to fussy cut your images because I didn't fussy cut on camera. So I'm just gonna have some music play and some background images, and then we'll come back on and finish the card here in just a second. But yeah, that will give you guys time to fussy cut or 
if you've already done all that, then maybe you need a snack or something, a drink of water or a, or a coconut drink or a pina colada, you never know. Okay, so super cute. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys start fussy cutting and I'll be back in a second. Okay, now let's blend our background. I wanted to have this fun kind of sunsetty sky, so I'm using some Distress Oxide inks. We have spun sugar and squeezed lemonade, and so when you blend these together, we're gonna get a nice orange, which will be really, really pretty. Now in your card kit, you had a card panel that has a circle cut out. That's gonna be our window for our shaker bits, and so I'm just holding that up to my background panel because I want to be able to see the colors through it. I want to make sure I'm, I don't have too much of one color is what I'm trying to say. So I'm making sure that through that circle window, I've got all the colors I want to see represented in that area. So now I'm adding the pink and I'm going to blend that over the yellow and that's going to give us a nice little orange, which is going to give us a really beautiful sunset background. I love a good sunset. So let me know in the comments below if you are a sunset person or a sunrise person. And I am definitely a sunset person. 
I think they are so, so pretty. And it might be kind of noisy in the background of this video and I do want to apologize for that. Again, I'm in a hotel room and the air is on and it's kind of loud and I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's not my usual video sound quality, but I appreciate you guys hanging in there. Okay, I'm cleaning up my work surface. I want to make sure I'm not going to be transferring any of my ink to my card, but look at how pretty that is, and especially with that teal card stock, it's so pretty. Now, when I'm doing a shaker card, I do like to trim my background panel down just this, just a hair on the side and at the bottom, because, and I do this for myself because I am notorious for adhering stuff crooked. <laughs> So I think I help eliminate myself from doing that. I use Lawn Fawn's Stitched Wave Dies, I think is what they're called, for my waves with the Mars Green cardstock. So this is what I was talking about. Go ahead and die cut them if you haven't already, or you can tear your paper. And I'm just kind of laying it out, just deciding, you know, how I want to go about it. But I end up having two waves here alternating, and then he's going to sit in between the two waves. I was deciding on that little... Um, shark fin but I opted against it obviously you could add that in it's your card you make it your own it does not have to be exactly like mine of course so yeah go ahead and get those die cut now or torn using that Mars green cardstock from cardstock warehouse that came in the kit and then we have our acetate piece that I want to adhere to the back of my circle so I'm gonna add some adhesive you can use liquid glue or tape runner and I believe that these pieces are five by six no I think they're five by seven so it's bigger than an A2 size card and I'm just going to trim the excess off once I have that adhered down I'm just cutting right next to my front card panel so this is where we're going to see our background this is where we're going to hide all of our shaker bits it's so so cute and so fun Okay, flipping it over, I want to use some foam sticky strips. These are from scrapbook.com and I really love these. But we are gonna do two layers. You do need two layers when you uh, foam tape when you're doing shaker cards. Unless it's like a really flat glitter and you're not gonna put a ton in, then I think you could get away with one layer. I pulled two off, sandwiched them together and now I'm just gonna put it around my hole in the, in the um, card panel. Now, I am also going to put some foam adhesive at the bottom of the hole because I don't want my, sh my shaker bits don't need to go all the way down to the bottom of the card. And I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. So you can see me folding these two pieces together because they kind of stick together when you peel them off the background. So then I just sandwiched them together and peeled off one of the um, sticky backgrounds. So this piece right here is gonna be the stopper to let all of the shaker bits just sit right there at the bottom of the hole. I do still wanna put some more foam adhesive strips at the bottom so that way it's got nice support over the whole card panel. So I'm just gonna pop a little extra piece that I had there right in the center I still have my release paper on. Let's get out our fun shaker bits from Marisha from the Diary of Belle Rose. Thank you so much, friend, for making this for the card kit. And you guys should go check out her page on Instagram, the Diary of Belle Rose. She has an Etsy shop where she sells her sequins. You can't get this mix because this was exclusive for the kit, but she has other wonderful mixes. Um, definitely go check them out. Check out Cardstock Warehouse. They have great uh, paper. Check out scrapbook.com because they have a lot of amazing things. So let's put our shaker bit pieces in here. And I just want a lot. I want a lot of shaker stuff. So, and I still have some left over. So you don't even have to use all of it. You'll be able to make a lot more cards. Now let's peel back the release paper from the sides. And then I realized I need to put this in my Misty to help me line it up. I think I did, or maybe I didn't. I'm lying, I'm so sorry. I did not put it in my Misty. I actually lined it up straight, but see, I did trim it down a little bit. 
so that way I wouldn't overhang. But if you want to line it up in your misty, you can, and it helps to, um, it helps you line it up really easy. But look at how fun that is. I really like to shake it around everywhere, and it does get stuck sometimes. But look at that against that pretty background. I think it is so fun. Now we have our ways. I have this huge piece here because I'm just going to trim it off. I want to line it up so my background wave is smaller than my front wave. And I did that because I don't want to have to measure things. I'm not a measurer, so I just want to line it up and then I can trim it off and then I have a little scrap piece of cardstock and that for me works just fine. So I want to decide where I'm putting the waves on this, I want to make sure I see enough of that background that we ink blended. I want to make sure there is enough open area that you can shake that shaker bits and see a lot of it. But I also want to make sure enough of it is covered as well. We don't need this big ginormous circle sticking out and not much covering it. So I'm just going to eyeball this. I'm just deciding exactly how I want it to look. Now that I know where I want it to be, I'm holding it in place and trimming off the excess cardstock from the bottom. And then now we have both of the waves and our cute little shark is gonna sit right in the center. We're gonna have all the fun shaker bits behind him. So let's adhere this. I'm going to add some tape runner to the smaller wave. And I'm gonna line that up and adhere my front wave on top of that. Then I can adhere that as a whole unit to the front of the shaker card. And when I put my shark in here, I do want his fin, his tail fin, to be over the front part of the wave. So I want to make sure that lines up nice and easy. So I adhered that down with, oh no, not yet. I'm, I'm totally lying. <laughs> From the, um, sentiments in the oh gosh what are they called the sentiments that we can foil I did the oh my gosh I, my brain is so funny the toner sheet sentiments I did foil with some deco foil and my mink machine and I'm using the one that says seize the day I did trim that out I'm so sorry that was not on camera Again, this video was for myself originally. It just happened to work out for you guys. But I did foil that. If you don't have a foil machine, you do not have to foil it. It's black. You can just trim it out. You could ink blend the background and trim it out. Super, super easy to go either way. I do want to stamp a sentiment using my Misty from the stamp set. And I'm going to use some black ink for that. Something else that would be really pretty is if you did some white heat embossing. I apologize that my head's in the way. I wanted to make sure that was nice and lined up. We're going to stamp that. And I did that right in the center. So now we've got this great little sentiment. And that is on the front of our waves. And it says, put your fins up and relax. And then the other sentiment says, seize the day. So I feel like you could do this for a birthday, a retirement, uh, maybe a new job, maybe, I don't know. I guess not really a new job if you're putting your fins up and relaxing, but maybe, you never know. But just some things like that, I think that could be, this type of card would work for that. And of course, I wanna add some dimension to this sentiment so I'm going to use some of those foam sticky strips behind that sentiment line it up at the top again I apologize my hair is in the way <laughs> but that's going to go over part of that shaker card and now we can put our cute little shark in here but I want to adhere his glasses and then I want to adhere the coconut drink to his hand but aren't these glasses so cute? He's just so cool, I love this shark. And if you guys had bought the first shark stamp, this is the same shark from that, that stamp, the big shark. I just wanted to carry him through because now I just kind of feel like he's my Shark Week mascot. 
and he's so cute and I still need to come up with a name for him so if you guys have a name put it down below in the comments and let me know I would love to uh, hear what you guys think his name should be so I'm popping him in between the two sets of waves and again I want his little tail fin to hang out over that front wave but look at how cute that is this is such an easy card to make we did some ink blending and we did if you did foil the sentiment we foiled that we did some Copic coloring we did some die cutting and now we created an easy shaker card and look at how cute he is. And of course I will adhere this to a white A2 size card base because that's what this card is, an A2 size. Let's take a white gel pen and add some details. I'm gonna add some to the tops of these waves. And then to the shark, you know I like to use my white highlight pen. And while I'm doing that, I do want to say thank you guys so very much again for purchasing my Shark Week card kit. I do want to apologize again for this not being what I originally advertised for a live video. I was hoping I could still get away with it, but it just did not happen, and I am so sorry. Thank you guys for all of your support through my Shark Week card event, card week events. I love them. They are so much fun. And I just appreciate you guys subscribing and watching my videos. Let's add a little bit of glossy accents to his sunglasses, because why not? He's so cute. I love it. I'm adding it just to the black part of the sunglasses. This will give it a nice little shine, and yeah, this turned out fantastic. I hope that you guys enjoyed making this card with me. I appreciate it. Um, Thank you again for everything. I hope that you enjoy that card kit and I'll be back soon with another video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.